Okay, so this is another little update video. We used to do these seasonally and dropped off, and now we're back for the summer. So what's going on? We've got a lot going on in different tracks this time. We have um, adventure mode is sort of the giant thing we're working on. We want to um, get that mode of the game up and running and obviously we've been talking about that for a while and uh, we're finally underway just working on all of the different modes. I'm currently working on getting the travel map sites displaying so that you can see all of the when you're traveling around long distance in the world you can see uh, all of the different uh, little buildings and stuff and you'll also be able to see these when you embark in fortress mode when you when you zoom in that just shows a bunch of red blocks right now you'll be able to see a bunch of buildings um, so that's cool and uh, that that should probably be in before adventure modes out and then we have the rest of dwarf mode that we're working on in parallel now. We'll continue to do these patches um, like we've done uh, over the months. And the announcements are done. This is the ability to look back at old announcements by category, uh, look through old reports uh, so that when you clear the alert icons they don't just disappear forever. You'll be able to just go back and, and check your old announcements. We just need a few um, interface elements for that and that's done. We have the depot access uh, is almost ready to go so you can see when your trade depot is blocked off by trees and so forth again so you know where to when to clear out uh, a path because uh, sometimes it's hard to tell especially in 3d maps uh, when your depot is is accessible to the caravans that come from the outside uh, and uh, various other bug fixes going to keep coming um, lost nicknames there's multi-threading uh, has uh, some st stability issues uh, that that putnam's cleaned up and uh we have um yeah more to, more to come more to come there uh graphics wise there's a lot going on uh carolyn is working on procedural dwarf faces that should match up with their uh paragraph descriptions we've kind of started with some uh prototyping of some faces to look out there that's pretty cool uh it's gonna be amazing both in adventure mode and and fort mode to, to see those uh and uh jacob had previously drawn up some dwarf children that I never got in, so we're finally going to try and get those in so that children don't just look like adults, which is silly. Um, and Jacob's also drawn up some floor engravings and some additional statue graphics uh, that, that we should we should be able to get in pretty soon. Um, and Neil Rice is Good is going over the giant animals. You've, you could probably see if you've embarked in the, the uh, sort of savage biomes that some of the giant creatures are just sort of inflated, pixelated versions of the smaller creatures. We have, you know, a couple hundred of those that um, to draw, and was just something that wasn't a super high priority uh, for the for the launch. Uh, but now we're going through those, uh, getting nice nice pictures of giant animals up. So we've got giant aardvarks, giant wombats. Um, it's it's all coming, uh, including baby giant wombats and so forth. Um, so that that will that'll improve those those savage uh, regions uh, quite a bit, and then there's the um, the the Linux version. Uh, it compiles up, ready to run. Got it. Got that uh, working. Uh, Pundum worked hard on getting that together, and we're gonna start our test branches uh, for that. I'm not quite sure how that's all gonna work because I've never released a Linux game on Steam before. But we're gonna figure out the um, the depots and builds and branches and uh, get the get the the testing started there so that we can get that out as soon as possible and uh, also uh, Kitfox has uh, started up a new series of beginner friendly tutorials uh, hosted by blind there are a couple out already we have a, a 27 minute starter guide and we have a well tutorial so go check those out on the Kitfox YouTube channel and uh, we'll keep you posted as um, the, the work in all these different different veins comes to fruition. Okay, till next time.